Hello friends. Today we will discuss about how to get the different frequency values for different channel spacing. So in this video, we will calculate the different frequency values for different fixed channel spacing like 12.5 GHz, 25 GHz, 50 GHz and 100 GHz. Suppose we want to use the channel spacing 12.5 GHz, 25 GHz or any other. So what will be the frequency values when we are using this fixed channel spacing? So in this video, we will calculate and learn how to calculate or how to get the different frequency values for fixed channel spacing. So moving to the next slide. Fixed grid nominal central frequencies for DWDM system. So here is a standard formula 193.1 plus n into channel spacing in terahertz. So 193.1 is the ITU2 defined central frequency. And this is in terahertz. So we will put the channel spacing in terahertz, and this n is the integer value. And this value varies from zero towards the positive integer and towards the negative integer. So we will, we can keep zero, one, two, three, or minus one, minus two, minus three towards uh, negative integer as well as towards the positive integer. So we will get the different frequencies values. Suppose we are using the channel spacing 12.5 gigahertz on a fiber. So the allowed channel frequencies is 10 hertz are defined by 193.1 plus n into 0.0125. This is the channel spacing in 10 hertz. And we can keep the value n is equal to 0 towards the positive integer as well as the negative integer. So we will get the different frequency values for this fixed channel spacing. In the same manner, when we are using the channel spacing of 25 gigahertz, we will keep the channel spacing here 0.02. 5 and we will get the different frequency range or wavelength range for this values fixed channel spacing in the same way for the 50 gigahertz we will keep 0 0.05 by converting this 50 gigahertz to the terahertz we will get this value in the same way for the channel spacing of 100 gigahertz the allowed channel frequencies are defined by this so we will get some example and we will uh, calculate some example so that it will be clear so moving to the next slide. For channel spacing of 12.5 gigahertz. So this is the formula which we have already discussed in previous slides. So we just need to keep the values n is equal to 0, minus 1 towards the negative integer and plus 1 towards the positive integer. And we will get the different frequency value. So this is the chart here. So we are just putting n is equal to value 0. By keeping n is equal to 0, we will get the frequency 193.1. So, this is the frequency 193.1 in terahertz, and by converting it into the uh, wavelength, we will get 1552.524381. So, the wavelength in nanometer is 1552.52. So, how can we can calculate the this wavelength? We can calculate this wavelength by this formula. So we have the formula lambda f is equal to c and this c is the speed of light f is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength so we have the value of f this 193.1 and we have the frequency of uh, sorry the speed of light c and that is given by 299792458 meter per second so by keeping these values c and f in this formula we will get the lambda so lambda is equal to c by f and we will get this so the wavelength 1552.52 nanometer. We will keep n is equal to minus 1 as well as plus 1. So we will keep minus 1. We will get the frequency value this. And by converting it to the wavelength by this formula, we will get this formula for this wavelength. By keeping n is equal to 1, we will get the frequency 193.1125. And by converting it to the wavelength, we will get this value. So we, we can get the different frequency values and different wavelength values by keeping n is equal to different different integer values. So this is on the basis of channel spacing. One thing uh, we want to keep in notice, this is one uh, on the basis of channel spacing. So for 12.5 gigahertz channel spacing, we can get the number of frequencies values. So we can for C band, for particular C band or L band, we can uh, choose the frequency value which lies in the 
T band or L band or different band. So moving to the next slide. So for channel spacing of 25 gigahertz. So this is the example of some frequencies values and uh, wavelength value calculating by this formula for the fixed channel spacing 25 gigahertz. So the same for the 25 gigahertz we have the formula this. So we will keep the value n is equal to 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 towards the uh, positive as well as the uh, negative integer values. So we will get the different frequencies as well as the wavelength by converting this formula. So when we keep the n is equal to 0 we will get this and center frequency. When we will get n is equal to uh, plus 1 we will get 193.125 converting this to wavelength we will get these values. By putting n is equal to minus 1 we will get 193.075 by converting it to the wavelength we will get this wavelength value. So we can, uh, we can get the different frequencies values or and different wavelength uh, corresponding to wavelength values by keeping n is equal to uh, different integer values in this formula. For channel expressing of 50 gigahertz, we are repeating the same process and we will get the different frequency range as well as the wavelength range. The corresponding wavelength range to this frequency. So n is equal to 0, 1, this center frequency, n is equal to plus 1, we will get 193.15, n is equal to minus 1, we will get 193.05. And the corresponding wavelength value is this, and we can get this value by converting this formula. So moving to the next slide. For channel expressing of 100 gigahertz, the same process but the formula is different the formula is 193.1 plus n into 0.1 so by keeping n is equal to 0 we will get this value n is equal to 1 we will get 193.2 for n is equal to minus 1 we will get 193 and by keeping the value of n we will get the different frequency value and uh, the corresponding wavelength values we can get by this formula So here we have just placed all the frequency value for different fixed channel spacing at the same place so we can compare it and get the difference in the frequencies values for different channel spacing. So this is the table for uh, channel spacing of 12.5 gigahertz. This is the table for 25 gigahertz. This is for 50 gigahertz and this is for 100 gigahertz. So when we will keep the n is equal to 0 we will get the central frequencies equal and this is the common in all the fixed channel spacing like 12.5 25 gigahertz 50 and 100 gigahertz but other values are changed because of this channel spacing so when we will keep n is equal to 1 this value is 193.11 for 12.5 gigahertz 193.125 for 25 gigahertz 193.15 for 50 gigahertz and 193.2 for 100 gigahertz. So when we will move towards the positive integer and uh, negative integer, we will get different frequency values and the corresponding wavelength values. So this is all about the different frequencies values for the fixed different fixed channel expression. Thanks for watching.